this is not a tree, Taylor Tuck. There ain't no meaty tuck in this family. Does not feel good. I tried to tell you, at least trim. My name is Igor Tortorella. I am an actor, a writer. Sometimes I like putting on makeup. Hi, I'm Trinity Taylor from RuPaul's Drag Race season nine. I'm a pageant queen gone rogue, and I'm here to make up a man. Good. Okay. Got this. Well, hi, Nico. Hi. So, what do you want to do today? What kind of look do you want to do? Well, when I'm shooting my show, I like have to be in a boy version of drag. Yeah. And this is like a chance for me to like show the real me. What make you snatched? I have a beard, which we're gonna have to work with. I just want to go like big and colorful and poppy and. Trinity esque. Well, at least you have beautiful teeth and a really, really snatched nose. So that's gonna be. Can you believe this nose? No. Who's your plastic surgeon? I don't have one. I can recommend you. Do you think I should get some Botox, like for real? Though? That wouldn't be Botox. That would be filler. filler. So before we begin, if I'm gonna be doing your makeup for this long, I have to take off my shoes. Okay, please. Because no one likes to be in shoes forever, especially. I don't have to be. Oh my god, so just throw that over there. Okay. What kind of brow are we doing? You tell me. I want to look like sisters. Sisters, yes. Okay. The first thing we're gonna do is glue down your brows. Okay. We use a glue stick because it puts a barrier between the hair and the makeup to where it looks more like your skin. Is there any judgment from queens inside the community that do shave their brows and don't shave their brows? No, I don't think so. I've, I mean, I think more. there's more judgment from gay men who don't accept. They automatically think, Oh, well, you have to be masculine, and you have to be this, and you have to be that. The most flack that I get from anything that I talk about being bisexual or fluid is from specifically white, cis, gay men. But you know, the trolls online love to just waste their time pounding away at keys. That's what happens in the, the drag world too, yeah. especially like with the show. And it's predominantly a lot of younger kids mm who just haven't experienced life and, and haven't experienced what compassion is or understanding. They've yeah. never done drag one day in their life. Or have any idea even what it is. You identify as gender fluid. Yeah, this isn't actually anything that I've really talked about on a public level quite yet, but I just pretty recently have just come to terms with the fact that maybe I'm not fully cisgender, right? And what does that mean? And I think the vocabulary for that is so wide right now. And it's like picking which word, you know, fits best I'm not quite at that stage yet, but I don't feel one way or the other. I haven't really had a full on conversation with someone who like believes that, especially like someone who, who looks mm -hmm. outwardly very masculine. Yeah. I am a guy, that's what I, I say, but yeah. most people think from, when they look at me from the back that I'm a woman, yeah. so I'll answer to ma'am. I like the word sissy with a C, C-I-S-S-Y. Kind of cisgender-ish, but like a little soft. Okay, all Sissy. right. Sissy, yeah. Maybe I'll look into that. Yeah, look into it. So I'm using a liquid foundation. Pheromone turned me on to this foundation. And it is a liquid, but it has a lot of coverage. This is gonna be your highlight color, but I'm also going over your brows because it's a stick foundation. It has a little bit more coverage. Do you ever have sex and drag? I've never had sex and drag. Never once? Never. No, no one's gonna pull my hair because it's gonna come off. No one wants to like make out with you and kiss on your neck. That's a lot of makeup. Have you ever dated a drag queen? No. We would never date because then you'd be in my closet all the time. <laughs> no, I wouldn't. Yes, you would. No, I wouldn't. You'd be like, honey, can I wear this <laughs> to go to dinner? No, bitch, that's not very expensive thing. So milk is your drag mother. I mean, technically, right? She put you in drag for the first time, yeah. Have you ever had sex in drag? I mean, there was one point when I was still drinking. <laughs> <laughs> For Halloween one year, I got into full drag and I went on a little bender. What made you decide that, to stop drinking? Um, I was just hurting myself. Yeah, I'm not really a drinker either. I got a DUI once yeah. and um, I never even talked about this on camera. Went out to Pulse. Mm -hmm. Had two drinks left, got pulled over for my tag being expired. What a stupid reason, huh? And I was never a drinker before that, and I'll hardly drink after that. You're highlighted for Phil. Something's happening. Something. I'm gonna stand up for this because my tuck is on fire. Stand up. Oh gosh. Oh. You'll experience this I'm soon. I'm excited. You're. <laughs> so, what do people think they know about you from the show? 
like their definition of what they like who they think I am and like what what do they expect from you you know what I mean I think that people automatically clump me in with every other beauty queen that's been on the show I don't think that's fair for anyone to be clumped in with anyone. Absolutely. As a feminine guy who does drag, I, I think that people expect you to always want to wear makeup, always want to talk about drag, always want to shop or wear a girl's clothing, and that's not true. Mm. I don't think people fully understand you just based off of a TV show. They don't, you know, they only show a small amount of who a person is from there. Small? Don't small. Purse. Yeah. Close your eyes. You want to line it up a little above the lash line. This is for drag queens. A little bit above the lash line on the end. I press upwards with the outside of the lash because I want it angled. What color of glitter do you want to do? The pink, red, blue, turquoise, or gold? Let's just do a little pig coming down here to pull it out from the outfit. We did. A glitter brow, we did these fierce lashes, and a full glitter beard. How do you feel? <gasps> you look fierce. I, but I feel like I can also like get into a fight I love if it. I needed to, you know what I mean? Yeah. Now for the worst part, we're gonna get you in your tuck, and then we're gonna pick an outfit. Are you ready for that? Just breathe. Yeah. So, now we're gonna Tuck you. There ain't no meaty tuck in this family. We're dropping drawers here. Dropping drawers, dropping drawers. Okay, so what you're gonna need is you're gonna need duct tape, paper towel. Duct tape. Yes, duct tape. Some people use spray adhesive. I do. But you don't like get all in there with the spray adhesive. It's just in the top and the yeah, back. Yeah, just right? in the top and the back. Look, okay. you know more about this than I thought you did. Disclaimer. Don't, yeah, don't say that I told you to do this. Read That's the fine print underneath. Risk. Since you didn't shave like I told you to. I'm sorry. Shave. I'm usually. sorry. But since you didn't, we're only gonna let the duct tape that much in there so it doesn't get in the way of the PP. Okay, so this goes on top. Yeah, that goes right up like above on the my pubic, pubic bone. Of the pubic area. Yes, right on my Nico 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 tattoo. How do you feel about me having my name tattooed three times above my dick? Um, I guess that's great for the people that are down there so they won't forget your name. Oh. How do you keep wet. the ball up? You pull it back. No, how do you keep the ball up? If you pull everything back, it should just stay there. They keep coming down. I feel like you're Sangela right now, <laughs> jumping out of the box. <laughs> Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Let's just spread them cheeks for a second. <laughs> what are you doing? Okay. This is looking like a diaper. <laughs> I don't think it's that bad, girl. Can I, ow, ow! Can I have one more piece of baby towel? To go up my butthole? <laughs> if that's what you must. <laughs> what happens if you get hard? You don't. Okay, so. I don't even know if I'm gonna be able to spread my legs to get into this. I'm sure you can spread your legs. You know, just relax. Don't yell at relax. Me. I'm relaxed. Three pairs of tights at least. So these at are. At least? No, no, no. The hip goes towards the skin. The so, hip, hip, no? So up at the top of the hip pad should go about parallel with. Oh, don't touch my belly button. You're doing good, sweetie. Thanks, Mom. <laughs> Yes. I feel like every man on earth should have to go through this at least once. Uh, and then I dare them to call me a sissy. You're just sitting there watching me struggle here. Well, yeah. I'm trying to give you the full experience. Doing this yourself, this is drag boot camp. Not drag, let me do it for you. Oh, she is tight, honey. Oh, she ain't zipping. Just don't turn around. <laughs> There's no way. <laughs> <sighs> Next. Okay. This one. I, there's no way my chest is gonna fit in that. There's no way. It'd fit me. Bitch. Let's put on the bottoms first. How often do you wash your drag? It depends on what it is. Milk is a smelly ass queen, and she never washes her shit. <laughs> oh wow, you are given some tea right here. This is gonna be amazing. This is gonna be cool. Suck in. Oh, yeah, okay, there we go. There we go. Head down into it. So today we like kind of fused your version of drag and my version of drag. Yes. The face, the mug is you. Yep. 
the eyes are you, the eyebrows are you, yeah. the hair is you. The beard is obviously... It's mine, yes, yours, it is yeah. mine. And the body, you have the body. Full body, balls That's are in my neat. throat right now. And the tuck is you. Yeah. I'm not taking credit for that. Girl. Okay, I will take credit for the those pads, the tumor and the pads. But bitch, I don't pad. So. Yeah, exactly, she's not Sorry. used to it. Sorry. I feel beautiful. You look gorgeous. Thank you. Aww. I appreciate it. Mm. I got a full Trinity tuck. No, you half, don't. A half, three quarter. No. Three quarter Trinity don't tuck. Don't ever Just claim the you tuck. You saw it all happen. I saw it all go down. Okay, it was so like a that's bomb. A, that's. <laughs> Someone call security for your tuck. <laughs> Don't touch me.